Hi, I'm Faye Desmoichant here with you from Social Skills to chat with you about how to shake hands. There are a few really important aspects to shaking hands. Number one, you should be standing up when you shake hands. No matter where you are, you should make sure you're standing up to shake hands. Also, as you shake hands, there are a few few critical aspects to it. This is considered the web of your hand. You want to make sure that you're touching the web of the other person's hand as you shake hands. Now, there's a couple of different handshakes out there. One I like to call the queen's shake where you give a half handshake. It's not correct. And actually, women in general in the United States of America tend to get really offended by that type of handshake because they feel that if a man is giving a half handshake, it's disrespectful. So, men and women, make sure that you touch the web of the hand to the other person's web. As you shake hands, be sure that you give a firm grip. Now, you don't want it to be so firm that you're injuring the other person, but it needs to be a firm grip. You can actually blow making a great handshake by not giving a firm grip. Additionally, as you shake hands with a person, you should, you should be shaking the entire time that it takes both of you to introduce yourselves. So, instead of dropping your hand after you introduce yourself, make sure that you are shaking for the entire time that the other person is introducing him or herself. So, sometimes people say it's three shakes, but it's actually not. It's shaking the entire time that it takes for both of you to introduce yourselves. Also, as you shake hands, make sure that you are using your eye contact. You should be looking at the person the entire time that you're shaking hands. Also, smile. Smile is a really important part of making a good first impression as you shake hands. It, it actually makes you seem a lot warmer and a lot more friendly. Also, make sure that your body language is good. You don't wanna be slumped over giving your handshake. Make sure that you're standing up straight with your shoulders back. As you're shaking hands, you wanna introduce yourself. As you introduce yourself, make sure that you use your first and your last name. In my case, it's, hi, I'm Faye Desmoichant. I have a bit of a tricky last name, so I usually put a pause in between my first and my last name. So if you have a tricky last name, just make sure that you say it slowly and you enunciate it. In fact, you might want to practice it a few times in front of the mirror. And that's how you shake hands and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Faye Desmoichant, here to teach you how to make a good first impression. Researchers say it takes three to five seconds to make a good first impression. So I say, why not spend a little time learning how to make a good first impression? We don't learn this skill set in school, and typically the closest we get to a lesson on how to make a good first impression is getting corrected, perhaps by your parents, your wife, your husband, your girlfriend, your boyfriend. So, Let's get into the basics. Number one, when you walk into a room, there are three nonverbal aspects of your first impression. Number one is your, your eye contact. It's key to use your eyes as you walk into a room. So someone walking into a room with his or her eyes down at the ground is not gonna make a great first impression. Number two, your smile. Your smile says so much about you. It's really important to be smiling as you walk into a room. So number three is your body language. As you walk into a room, you wanna make sure that you're standing up straight. It's so easy to feel nervous and to feel shy, and it's a normal feeling. But make sure that you're standing up straight as you walk into a room. So those are the three nonverbal aspects of your first impression. Next is your verbal aspects. So it's what you say and how you say it. Just be sure that your voice is loud and clear. So another important aspect of your first impression is your handshake. In the United States of America, it's customary to shake hands. And you wanna make sure that you shake hands with a firm grip. I'm gonna get into that in our handshaking video. So, those are the three most important aspects of your first impression. Your eye contact, your smile, your body language, and finally, your handshake. Hi, I'm Faye Desmoichant, here with you from Social Skills to teach you how to introduce others. Now, it's a little bit tricky these days. Uh, I always like to say that a, an introduction is a wonderful thing, but if we're splitting hairs, there is a proper way to make an introduction. So, for example, if I were introducing my principal to my mother, I would 
present my mother to the principal because that principal is the person in honor. Uh, you could also look at it as the older person might be the person in honor. So in this case, I would say, Principal Lewis, I'd like you to meet my mother, Anne Rogaski. So you're introducing both people. Now, I'm also giving a little, bit in, a little bit of information about both people. So, Principal Lewis is obviously the principal, and I'm introducing Principal Lewis to my mother, Anne Rogaski. So, as you make introductions, you want to give just a little bit of information about one another. Also, you want to be sure that you use a first and a last name as you make those introductions. So let's say you're introducing your girlfriend to your friend. In that case, it's a little bit less formal and also there's not necessarily one person that you're presenting to the other. So let's say your girlfriend is Jennifer Brown and your friend is Bobby Jones. Uh, this is how you would do it. Bobby, I'd like you to meet my girlfriend, Jennifer Brown. Jennifer, this is Bobby Jones, a very good friend of mine from high school. So you're giving, again, just a little bit of information about both people, so that helps identify each of them. And that's how to introduce others. Hi, I'm Faye de Moichant, here with you from Social Skills, to talk about how to maintain friendships and be a good friend. So as you're getting involved in friendships in your life, you want to make sure that you're a a thoughtful and caring person and those are some of the the key aspects to being a good friend and you want to make sure that you ask a lot of questions of your friend and, and show that you you really care so not only are you asking your friend or your friends about their day for example or about how their work day was or uh, how they are on any given day make sure that you you ask questions that that specifically pertain to them that show you're really thinking about them. So for example, if you know that your friend just took a test yesterday, you might wanna ask, how did your test go? And explore that question with them. Show that you really care. And as you're asking questions, be an active listener. And what that means is to really be making eye contact, nodding as you speak, showing that you, you truly care about your friend. You might wanna also ask, how their parents are doing, for example, or how his or her dog is doing. Very specific questions to that person. Also, you, you just generally wanna be a thoughtful person. So on any given day, you can do a thoughtful gesture for someone, which might be uh, picking something up at the store that reminds you of the person, or it could be uh, dropping a note in the mail for that person, or it could be doing something just a little bit special. Also, you wanna make sure that you, you always respect your friends, and by respect I mean you respect their views, you respect them, their time, for example. You wanna make sure that you respect someone's political views, even though they might not be your own political views. You also wanna make sure you respect someone's time. These are just a few aspects of respect, but Respect as a whole is an extremely important part of maintaining friendships and being a good friend. Hi, I'm Faye de Moichant, here with you to talk about how to make new friends. So, throughout our lives, we're going to be making friends, meeting people, introducing ourselves to others, and what I always say, the most basic part of making friends is really conversation. So, in, on any given day, you should have things to talk about. There are questions that you can ask anyone. For example, hi, how are you? Uh, for example, how's your day going? Another example, so what brings you here? Wherever you're meeting the person is another question that you can, you can have ready. It's all about, making friends is all about conversations and, and how you make people feel as you talk to them. As you chat, you're asking questions, but you're also responding. And as you respond to questions, it's really important to make sure that you're not using the ill-fated one-word response. So, for example, how are you today? If someone were to ask me how I am today, instead of saying, fine, I'd say, I'm doing really well, thanks for asking. My day started out walking my dog in Central Park, and then I headed to the office, and it's been a really, a really great day. What about you? 
So not only am I responding to the question with a, with a fairly full, full response, but I'm also asking a question back to the person. And that's really how to start a friendship. You want to be getting to know a person and also letting that person get to know you. And as you're talking to someone, make sure that you're actively listening to that person. So that's making really great eye contact and maybe nodding your head as you speak to show that you're listening. Also, you can ask that person questions based on whatever it is they're talking about. If I tell you that I headed to my office, you might want to ask me, oh, where do you work? The most important thing though is that you keep the conversation going and you let that person get to know you as you get to know them. And those are a few things that you can do to start to make new friends.